presenting myself or yeah yeah okay. yeah okay so tell us who you yeah. are though yeah. hi i'm pierre and i'm an engineer at Akeos, and i will now present you our new video mapper software presenting the new video mapper extension we've created for uh, media master and grand vision yeah uh, this is a really straightforward tool to do projection mapping, video mapping. Um, what you have on the left is your displays. Here we have two projectors. And on those displays you will create surfaces uh, that can be triangle and rectangle surfaces that you, that you can uh, warp and uh, rotate and place whatever, wherever you want. And this is important too, we actually get different projectors, so you, you don't have to yeah. remember where these surfaces are. Yeah. We have names for the projectors yes. and the different elements yes. are right there. Yeah, and you can rename your surfaces as well if you want to remember uh, where you are. Right. And we're seeing this in, in your media server software. Yes, exactly. But That's it's the coming point. to the, uh, it's coming to Grand VJ, which is yes, the also. version of your software that yeah. a lot of our readers know. And if you go to Media Master, indeed, you have this new list in this panel that shows all the surfaces we've been creating and presets as well that you can create by doing that. And that enable you to say that my layer, the layer I've selected, can go to a certain surface that you select or to a group of surface that you've created in Media Master. So by playing a video loop, you can uh, have the same content on one or more surfaces at the same time. And if we look behind you, we're actually mapping on the wall over here. And yes, that's the result of And it's so easy to use, you can drink beer while you're demoing it. It's Eden beer. Non-Belgian beer or German beer. German beer. And then... Yeah, but it's in the middle. Yeah. You can wait for a few minutes. So here we are, we're seeing the surfaces yeah. as they're previewed in the software. Yes. Now this isn't a separate application, that's important to mention too. Yeah, so um, for now it's, so it's a separate tool that has live preview. Here you can see that you have live preview from Media Master on Windows. Mm -hmm. That's the equivalent siphon for Windows that we've right. developed. Um, but the idea is uh, in the final release you will have the output totally integrated to Media Master, meaning that you can you will be able to close the, the mapper software and Media Master will take care of the projection. Right, of course. Yeah. So yeah. we will have only one uh, software running and the two that will consume more resources. Right, so both on Windows and Mac, and yes. in the same both with Grand VJ, you'll be able to open up Grand VJ and say, yes. I want this video loop to go on this exactly. particular it's, with the, surface. With the similar panel as the one I've shown. So you'll, you'll, you'll see something like this output and uh, you'll just be able to choose the surfaces here of kind yeah. of generic names. Exactly. But yeah, you'll be able to choose presets. Right. You, you'll be able to kind of create presets and create preset groups yes. and be able to, you know, you. pull up a video loop or a texture or a generative something. Yeah. And um, just have it show up on a surface or a group of surfaces. Or a group of surfaces. Right. So a lot of the kind of manual uh, administration that we've been doing yes. with textures and mapping yeah. goes away. And and um, and it's not just for it's not just for projection mapping onto 3D surfaces, right? We're talking about it can be a way to manage multiple projectors and a way to manage LED walls and different surfaces exactly. on LED walls, exactly. all these other situations. Because we had solutions for uh, uh, ArtNet-based LEDs, and uh, with CleanNet we've created, but there were no solution uh, for uh, DVI-based LEDs. So now you can use this software to run uh, DVI-based LED walls. Um, and I think it's important to mention also that in the mapper, you said that we don't have uh, the sampling stuff to take care about anymore. But if you like, you have this advanced panel that uh, gives you the possibility to crop a part of a visual to go on a certain surface. Right, and I'm seeing a quad right now, but you can also use masks. Yes, and and you can add masks on uh, each surface that you've created in the software. Right. 
So how, tell us how masking works. When we go in and yeah. add a mask. Too. Yeah. Um, this is a prototype, and here's the mask. So you pull up an image to use as a mask. Yeah. So um, let's say I will use that. Yeah. And it's looking and at you, the alpha yeah. channel in that image. Yeah. You have alpha, and you have black. Okay. Great. Uh, here it's not a good example, but you can choose either it's transparent or it's black. So this is available. Uh, this is <laughs> this is this will be available as a beta version in May yeah. for Media Master, and then it will uh, be available for Grand VJ in the next month, and then the final version will come in the summer. Okay, great. We'll have a beta version we can start to play with in Grand VJ in June. Yeah, that's May June. Yes, okay, for Grand VJ beta version in June. Uh, I mentioned beta because uh, by the time we won't have the to total integration, meaning that you will still have to run the mapper separately to have the projection. Right. In the final release, the integration will be total, meaning that you won't need the mapper anymore. The mapper will be for editing only. And what will this cost if I'm a Grand VJ user? Uh, for Grand VJ and Media Master, it's uh, 349 euros. Okay. So if you buy this sort of separate functionality, uh, that will be uh, yes. You can if you have Grand Vision already, you can buy separately, or you can buy. I think it will be called Grand Vision Pro. Okay. That will be around uh, uh, 650 euros. Great. All right. Well, thanks a lot. You're welcome.